a giant mysterious structure in the middle of past dry hills. This is Rani Court, a fortress. Its walls stretch more than 36 kilometers. Why it was built here isn't clear, but the sheer size of the fort is impressive. The world's fifth smallest country, San Marino, would fit within its walls, but its true potential has not been realized, and some say it deserves the same status as other globally recognized historical sites. Rani Court is a potential site for the World Heritage List. It, it's not on the World Heritage List. It's the responsibility of the government to protect the site. I mean, I mean of course, UNESCO um, supports, UNESCO provides technical assistance, but based on the request from the government. The locals too realize that this heritage site can change their lives. A wall encloses the fort on three sides and is protected by high hills to the rear. Yet there are few clues to its purpose. Rani Court is the largest fortress in the world. Built in the middle of nowhere, it is also known as the Wall of Sindh. The only water supply here is a stream running through the fortress, which it's believed supported early settlers here. Today, along with the waterfall of the dancing fairies, it supports the residents of a small village. Generations of these Gabol tribesmen have lived here for hundreds of years in dwellings made of straw, twigs and wood. They say Rani Court needs attention. The government is least interested in preserving these sites. This fort has a lot of potential in attracting local and foreign tourists, but there are no hotels or restaurants around here, no facilities really. Even the road is in bad shape. Tales about the fortress origins are local folklore here. There are stories dating it back to the Persian Empire. Others say it marked the outer reaches of the Roman Empire on the west bank of the mighty river Indus. Whatever the truth, its admirers say Rani Court is a true feat of architecture. Rani Court can become the best example because it's a very significant site if it is developed. I mean, by development, if it is, you know, preserved and the facilities built around it, it can attract a lot of uh, tourism and that tourism can help, uh, you know, the, the community there. You're right, there's a lot of poverty there. This winter, a team of Italian archaeologists is planning to starting work on this fortress. They hope they'll soon be able to reveal the first clues into its origins and true age. Something people here hope will help put Rani Court on the world map and help lift them out of poverty too. Kamal Haider Al Jazeera, Rani Court, Sindh, Pakistan.